What's happening, fight fans and boxing world? I am your host, Nice, and welcome to this edition of The Fight Room, breaking down Mikey Garcia versus Jesse Vargas inside the ropes. And this fight is taking place next Saturday, February 29th, live at the Ford Center at the Star at Fresco, Texas, and you can catch it live at the zone. Now, Mikey Garcia, former four-time, four-different-weight-class world champion, WBO featherweight, WBO super featherweight, WBC lightweight, and IBF super lightweight, Mikey's pro record, 39 wins, one loss, and 30 by knockout, and Jesse Vargas, former two-time champion, WBA super lightweight, and the WBO walterweight, and his pro record is 29 wins, two defeats, and 11 by knockout. Now, Jesse notable wins, Jose Cito Lopez, you know, uh, Steve Forbes, um, Timothy Bradley, and, you know, he lost to Bradley. Of course, Bradley, a good fighter, of course, and he fell short in that fight, came back and won the WBO by knocking out Saddam Ali back in 2016, went to defend his WBO title against Pacquiao and lost by unanimous decision and then had a draw with Adrian Broner and had a good, good fight in 2018 with a former prospect and contender, Thomas Dulorme. And that was a pretty good fight. And he wound up getting a cut by a headbutt in the second round and managed to show virtue in that performance for sure. You know, it was a bad cut and he managed to continue on and went all the way to a uh, draw. Now, you know, overall, man, you know, Jesse has been under the radar his whole career. You know, he's a welterweight contender. He's fought a lot of good fighters and he doesn't get mentioned with the elite welterweights of today. And yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, but, you know, he's still a good fighter. He's a pretty tall fighter, 5'10". He's pretty tall, you know, and um, he doesn't pack power at all. That's the only downfall for Jesse Vargas is that he just doesn't pack power. You know, he's a good fighter, but just doesn't pack power to fight and manage to make a name for himself in the division with the elites. You know, we got Errol Spence, we got Porter, we got Danny Garcia, we got Keith Thurman. You know, the list goes on and these guys are hard hitters and making a statement in the division. So hopefully, you know, Jesse Vargas can pull through in this fight and maybe make a name for himself for other fights in other venues, man. Because, you know, his time is uh, running out, I guess, to me. Um, if he loses this fight, I, you know, he's going to have to go back to the drawing board and see what he could come up with. Now, we know that Mikey Garcia is an all-around puncher, boxer, strong fighter, uh, high IQ in the ring, you know, all-around boxer, you know, uh, good ring generalship, doesn't waste any punches, likes to pick his punches, he likes to be accurate, and, you know, he's just all-around good, you know, smart fighter, very successful because of it, you know. He comes from a, a boxing family, you know, the Garcia family, Robert Garcia being his brother and trainer, and he was a former IBF lightweight champion and a good one at that. So, yeah, he has a, a good uh, team behind him, always has. You know, he's been trained right, good head on his shoulder, and just a good fighter. You know, um, just to me, he doesn't belong in the 147-pound division, unfortunately. You know, I think his highest uh, weight division is should be 140. And in, at 140, he can definitely make a lot of noise and even be champion there for a long, long time. And I think he should just go back to 140 and stick to it, you know. But um, in this fight, overall, I think that Mikey Garcia should pull it off because he's just the smarter fighter, the harder puncher. And uses the ring, you know, quite well. So, yeah, man. Um, February 29th. It is going down live at the zone. 
So make sure you guys catch it because for sure I am going to catch this one. I think it's going to be an overall good fight because of the styles that they possess. Now, Jesse Vargas has been improving in his power, but you know, for this matchup and with this caliber fighter of Mikey Garcia that has a hell of a chin, you know, it's going to be hard to, to do some damage on him. But not only that, you know, uh, Jesse Vargas has a hell, a hell of a chin. I forgot to say that. I mean, you know, he got tested real, real good with Thomas Durolme and sure enough stood there, took some vicious hits and managed to, you know, just stay there. You know, he definitely can take a punch. So it's going to be an exciting fight overall because I believe that it's, it's going to be a war. For sure. Trust me on that. Watch. Now, let's get inside the ropes. Mikey Garcia, 39 wins, 1 loss, and 30 by knockout, like I said. 32 years old. Has no nickname. He's 5'6", very short compared to Jesse Vargas at 5'11". You know, of course, 147 pound weight division. He has 68 inch reach. And he's an orthodox fighter coming out of Moreno Valley, California. Now, Jesse Vargas, 29 wins, 2 losses, 2 draws, and 11 by KOs. Like I said, not a hard puncher at all, but has been improving, like I said. 30 years old, and his nickname is the Pride of Las Vegas, representing Las Vegas. Yeah, 5'11", like I said, pretty tall, 147 pounder, his reach is 71. He has a longer reach advantage, and he's an orthodox fighter and Las Vegas, his hometown. And yeah, it is all going down next Saturday, February 29th, live at The Zone. Make sure you guys tune in. Do not miss this one. I think it's going to be an exciting fight because of the styles, for sure. You already know, it is your boy, Nice. Like, comment. Make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber to my channel. It's going to be more things headed your way. You already know. Don't forget, most of all, share the fight room.